Welcome, my name is Paul Hampton from Alfresco. This video shows you how you can use Alfresco to replace a shared area on a network drive. We believe that the most widely used enterprise content management system is a shared area on a network drive. An area where users can upload and share files, documents, PowerPoints, Excel spreadsheets, etc. And why is that? Well, it's easy to use. Everybody's familiar with browsing their local PC, looking at the file system. and the, the network drive is just an extension to that, so there's no training and it's relatively low cost. But we believe there's some issues associated with that. It can be hard to find files. You have to know how people have structured the folder system. And then you're limited to just the file name to identify what those files are. So you can't see any context. Um, I'm looking for a, a particular presentation that was given at an event um, I'd like to be able to search the system and say, show me all the presentations that were given by Paul Hampton at the local Alfresco meetups. And again, I, I've got no context around that. I have to use the file system to, to, to look at that. There's also no version control. And again, people find ways around this. So you'll see people adding a suffix to a file, v1, v2, v3, etc., as they make changes and, and want to be able to track the different file versions. Uh, and really, the, the file and folder security is not appropriate for uh, managing documents, giving access control of who can view them, who can edit them, who can delete them, etc. So what's needed is a way of replacing a network file system so that it's easy for users to use and allowing those users then to have access to enterprise content management features. There is a standard CIFS, Common Internet File System. And as an open enterprise content management solution vendor, Alfresco have adopted CIFS as a way allowing users to, to look at the, 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 uh, the repository. With CIFS, the, um, the Alfresco repository, the content management solution, just looks like another network drive. Here we've got an image of my, my computer. We can see I've got a couple of local disks. But I've also got a network disk. Um, it's not in fact a, a network drive, it's an Alfresco repository. Um, but it appears to the, the browser, or the, the, the um, file explorer, that I'm uh, looking at a, a local uh, a, a network drive. And if I click on it, I can open that and then browse it like I would any other network drive. I can look at the folders and I look at the files. But again, I've got all the rich content management capability behind that. You can try this for yourselves. You can download an evaluation version of Alfresco Enterprise Edition. Go to our website, download it, get it up and running in about five minutes. There's a couple of things you need to do to configure the SIF server. Um, we've put in there two sample files, uh, custom VTI context.xml and custom VTI properties. Um, these are both sample files. You can find them and you can see the, the, the link there to where they're, they're found. Um, and you just need to copy those to a different area within the Alfresco hierarchy and then rename them to remove the dot sample. Um, and then you're going to edit one of those. One of the things that we need to do is understand the server name of where the SIFS server is running. So you edit the VTI properties file and add, add your host name. My particular PC is phampton, um, so I just replace the your-share-host uh, string with phampton, save that file, and then restart the server. So let's look at this in action and let's look at a live demo. So here we can see my computer screen. We can see my two local drives and here we can see what appears to be a network drive. I'm just going to switch on the folders so we can uh, follow this. So I can now click on the Alfresco, what looks like a, a network drive but it's actually the repository and I can see all of the um, all of the, the folders associated with that. Now I could be um, wanting to upload a file, so let's go to the marketing area, events, presentations, um, and here we can see I've got a blank folder um, with, with no presentations. Um, I'll talk a little bit about these icons in a minute. So over here I have the presentation that we were working on earlier, um, and I can just simply drag that drop it in and say that I've copied that to the repository. So that's uploaded the file to the Alfresco repository and it's extracted some information from the file. We call that metadata, information about it. 
Now, because I, this is a zero footprint client, I've got nothing installed on my PC that means I, I, that enables me to use SIFs. Um, there's some, certain things I may want to do, so I may want to have a look at more details about this file. So these are what we call virtual desktop actions. And if I just drag and drop my file onto this show details, it'll actually open up a web browser and then show me the details of that file. So here we can see that the title is replacing your network drive. Again, it's extracted that from within the document itself. A description presenting on why Alfresco is better than a shared network drive. And the author was Paul Hampton. Um, so it's it's gone off and it's extracted all this information automatically, which now as I'm browsing um, the, the content management solution means I've got more information about the file that I'm looking for. Um, I want to make a change to a document, so let's come, I know it's in uh, corporate information, uh, corporate standards, and here we have a brand guidelines document. Now, I want to make some changes to that, and I want to lock this document to stop anybody else changing it. So again, I can use one of these virtual desktop actions just to drop the file onto a checkout one. And what this is going to do is run that script. Okay. It's going to put a lock on that file and give me a working copy. And I want to work on my local PC, so I'm just going to copy that over here. And then we're going to open this. And we're going to call this the latest corporate guidelines. Not going to make too many changes. Save it. Close it down. And now what I want to do is put it back into the repository. So we're going to move that one back over here. Overwrite the working copy. And then just check that back in. So I've made my changes. I put that back into the system. And now if I look at the show details. So here's my file, um, modified date 935, which is the, the time now, um, and I can have a look at the version history. And again, we can see that there's been lots of minor version changes. And as you can see, I'm the only person really working on this file. So as you, so as you can see, it's very easy for Alfresco to replace a shared area on a network drive, but now giving your users full enterprise content management capability. As I say, try it for yourselves, download the trial version of the Alfresco Enterprise Edition, make those few changes and get it up and running. Thank you for watching.